What's good YouTube? Everybody welcome back to the channel. Today, as you can see the wheel is off, the car is jacked up. You see I have a bunch of studs and lug nuts, spacers, rings, and you see the new wheels. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fit these wheels on basically a German car because these wheels are not made for German cars. As you know, the, the boat pattern is 5 by 114.3 and as you can see, my brakes are huge and these wheels, these specifically, are not offset right to clear the wheels. I'll show you guys that, to clear the brakes. So what I'm going to be doing is throwing a throwing uh, my studs on to convert the pattern and then a spacer so they can clear the brakes. So let's get into it when the wheel is flat on the hub and i spin it you hear that noise it's a rubbing that's why you can see the paint coming off it's rubbing on my calibers right there so what i need to do is first do my studs and then so i'm gonna do my studs first show y'all that and by the way everything you see here is from amazon i ordered all this stuff yesterday and it all came in today because I'm going to Spring Fest tomorrow, which is Sunday. Today's Saturday. I'm going to Spring Fest, and I had to get these wheels on. I had to make it work. So right now I'm going to do the suds. Hand tight first. So now all of them are hand tight. I'm going to get my Allen, and it's a six to six Allen. I got this from Home Depot. Get my Allen and just tighten them off. Just tight but not too tight just like that that's just fine you don't want to make them too tight all right now get the spacer This is a 10 mil spacer. Just for me to clear the brakes, and that's it. You know, just drip this way. Right. And then. All right. And as you can see, no more. And as you can see, no more rubbing on the calipers. It's very tight, but almost like a, like a millimeter but you know that's it this is sweat from my gloves but first thing i'm gonna do is lower the car a little bit because if you look at my last videos if you look at my last videos the front is higher than the rear and i already put the wheels on on the other side of the car i like the way the rear looks so I'm, i measured this on the other side this side is about this side is about two so i want to put it down to about one and five eighths this is what i did on the other side and then i'll be good all right i got the wheel on got it tightened down now i'm just going to lower it to check the fitment and then tighten the lug nuts All right, it's lowered all the way down. So the suspension will definitely settle, but yeah, about half an inch from the, the fender to this tire part right here. So let me, check, let me check the other side. It's about half an inch. So let me check the other side. Yep, it's about identical half an inch. All right, so let's do the back right. And the rear is already good on suspension. So for this side, I don't have a spacer because I don't really need a spacer for the brakes. If I wanted a spacer, you, just, you guys will see. All right, wheel off. So now we're gonna, we're gonna get our studs. And for the for the rears, I need for the rear I need um hub or yeah hub rings. These hub rings are. 
to 73.1 it's because 73.1 is the center bore of my rear of my new wheels and then of my hubs is 57.3 i think 57.1 it's all information on google but don't ask why i didn't put rings on the front you don't want to know yeah so now i'm gonna put the i'm gonna get these on i don't have to lower it so i'll get these on and then i'll tighten the wheels down lower the car and then i'll show you all the end product and then i'll wrap up the video all right so the car is sitting right now <sighs> the nice fitment the car this is how it's gonna look for the show by the way i'm going to spring fest 2022 virginia beach it's Sunday. I'm going on Sunday. But today's Saturday. Yeah, just wash it up. And I'll be out there.